Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about rules for multiplying and dividing with exponents when multiplying rational expressions. Now, there's a couple of rules of exponents that you got to keep in mind when it comes to multiplying rational expressions, and here they are. Now, if you have, for example, x to the a times x to the b, that means you can multiply. When you multiply these terms, you can add the exponents. So this would be x to the a plus b. Now, when you have x to the a over x to the b, that means you can subtract the exponents, x to the a minus b. Now, both rules operate under the assumption that you have the same bases. If they have different bases, you cannot use these rules. So here's an illustration for you. If you have x to the third, y squared over z times x squared z to the third over y. Here's what you can do with these rules. Now, again, you can only look at the terms with the same bases. So let's look, talk about the x's. The x's just happen to be both in the numerator. So you can multiply the two. But again, you can add the exponents. So x cubed times x squared, you add the 3 and the 2. So you have x to the fifth power. Now, when it comes to the y's, here's what happens. You have a y squared and a y in the denominator. Now, you can cancel directly or you can cancel diagonally as long as you have a term in the numerator multiplied with some kind of term in the denominator. So this is y to the first, which is usually not written. And so what you can do is, with the 2 and the 1, you subtract 2 minus 1. So it'll be y to the first, which is not written. So it'll be just be x to the fifth y. And then with the z's, same kind of idea, because you have a z to the 1 in the denominator and z to the third in the numerator. So you would use this rule once again. You have a 3 on top and a 1 on the bottom. So you do 3 minus 1, which is going to give you z squared. Now, it just so happens that the, in, the entire denominator has been cleared out. But once in a while, that will happen when it comes to multiplying rational expressions. It all depends on what kind of exponents you have for both the top and the bottom. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's uh, an example on rules on multiplying and dividing with exponents when multiplying rational expressions.